value of a human life comes from God our Creator Himself. But our understanding of ourselves actually comes from a context of community, that men and women are created to be in community. And the church's understanding is that the basic unit of a society, the basic unit of a culture is the family. And because of that, our understanding of ourselves develops out of that relationship of family. And that's why the church is so adamantly focused on proclaiming the beauty of a man and a woman who pledge their lives together, who throw themselves together for better, for worse, for richer, for poor, in sickness and in health, till death do we part. Now that's awesome. And it is so beautiful to watch a wedding. In fact, it's, uh, it's fun because in our church, our aisle is actually one half of a football field. And so it is a very, very long walk. And there's also another long walk that comes from the St. Anne's room where the brides get ready with their dads usually walking them down to get ready for the, uh, the procession. And we call that the Trail of Tears. Uh, now, weddings are beautiful, but they're also one of those times where you watch this beautiful young couple prepare to pledge their lives together and they say, I do to these things that they have no understanding of whatsoever. Similar is because we couldn't possibly know what life is going to lead to. We couldn't possibly know the journey that we're about to embark on. And yet we do it in faith. And that's the beauty of marriage. The beauty of marriage is that it is not just a personal relationship between two people. That's why in the Catholic Church, we don't celebrate a wedding out in a field or on top of a mountain. We celebrate them in church, in the context of a community of faith, because marriage is not just a personal relationship. Marriage is a sacrament. And a sacrament is something that God calls us to, something that God invites us to enter into. And a sacrament means that we become a sign of something more than ourselves. In marriage, the husband and the wife begin their lives together knowing that prior to this moment in my life, my life was about me. But after this wedding, my life is no longer about me. My life is now about my wife or my husband. My life is now about my children. My life is now about witnessing to the beauty of God's love for us. It's very different than what the world sees. And so as Christians, it's important for us to understand clearly our starting point, the dignity of the human person, the absolute essential nature of marriage being rooted in a community, and the fact that God created us to understand ourselves better in the context of community. And that's why the second reading is perfect because it talks about the sacrifice that Christ made for us, that he who was higher than the angels lowered himself in order to save us. Well, that's the same image that St. Paul uses when he talks about marriage. He says, husbands, love your wives as Christ loves the church. 